As it's me, it's Queen Osset Haru, and thank you for joining me for another wonderful edition of Ask an Aquarius. If you haven't already, please hit the red subscribe button and smack the bell. Okay, so tomorrow we're meeting at 2 p.m. Eastern to discuss our book, Being Me, Loving You, our live discussion, our third live discussion. So meet me if you can. All right, guys. So I was looking at the comment section. And I don't mind telling y'all <laughs> that I, I was so disturbed that I had to go get my moonstone crystal. I was like, should I answer this question today or should I just breathe? Like, what should I do about this? Should I meditate on this? Because this came up really awful. <laughs> Wait till I tell y'all what happened. Okay, so I was in the comment section because yesterday I did a video about people who get mad at Aquarius for disappearing. And I gave Aquarius some tips on how they can reduce that. So my Aquarius then wrote back to me what has happened in the past when they've considered or thought about doing some of the things that I said. Some of them tried it and it went well. Some of them tried it and they had all these issues. <laughs> some of them have never tried it, but they're like, okay, I'll try it next time. Um, so let's talk about the ones who had issues. So out of the 60 something comments I got, many of them, people who've, who've tried that already had issues. So in the past, when, um, they've told people that they need some space, that they need to recharge, these are the results that happen. Now, you guys listen to this and tell me what you think. Any of you that are psychologists or therapists or counselors, you're going to hear this immediately. Number one, when they tell people that they need some space, they get angry or throw a tantrum. Number two, they get sad or overly emotional. Number three, they ask the Aquarius 20 questions about why they need space and what they're going to be doing with said space. Number four, they think that you are depressed or upset in some way. Number five, they keep calling anyway. They keep contacting you. You tell them you need some space. They don't give it to you. They just keep on calling. Number six, they show up at your home. You don't answer the phone. You don't answer social media. So they come knock on your door. Uh, seven, they just don't get it. They just... You know, they just don't get it. They, they just don't back off, basically. Eight, they try to stop you. So some kind of way they try to stop you from having space. Now, this last one is the most bizarre. <laughs> so this is one person situation. So I don't think this is like happened. No, not more than one person reported this anyway. So you guys can tell me if you've experienced this too. She said they tried to sabotage her from having some space. In the following ways, they have messed with her car. They have taken her maps. She's in Europe, so apparently she uses some kind of maps or something. Three, reported her bank card missing. So they tried to sabotage her from going off and having some space by doing one of these three things. Now, if you tell your significant other, your mother, your sister, your father, your kids or somebody, anybody that you need space and they do one of these seven things, you are dealing with the following. According to Google, you are dealing with a mental health issue. A codependent relationship, a toxic relationship, a dysfunctional relationship, a relationship that lacks boundaries, or a relationship where you have a savior complex. Now, all of these are self-explanatory except for the last one. So I'm going to talk more about the last one. So basically what the psychologists are saying is that if you, as an Aquarius, tell your friends, family, or whoever that you need some space and you get one of these nine, I said seven, it's nine, one of these nine responses, you are in one of those types of relationships. So if you are engaging in an unhealthy relationship, there's not really much I can tell you. 
except for stop engaging in unhealthy relationships. <laughs> that's the only thing I can say because that's what's causing what you're talking about. And many people told me that the person who was causing the issue was the reason why they needed space in the first place. This person was the drainer of their battery in the first place. And if that's the case, you need to reevaluate that relationship. If you can't get a moment of space from somebody uh, a couple days away or a rest to, you know, replenish yourself, you're in an unhealthy relationship that lacks boundaries and you need to do something about it. Either stop being in a relationship or change the relationship, work on the relationship, move to another town. You need to do something because this is abnormal. I understand that people have feelings, but for them to respond to you needing a couple days away like this, it's just unhealthy. Now, let's talk about the savior complex. I want to talk about the savior complex because it's the one that's not clearly defined. I've talked about codependency before and some of the other ones on the list, but I've never really talked about the savior complex. And this is very common for Aquarius. The savior complex is also known as the Messiah complex or the hero complex, the superhero complex, the knight complex. They have quite a few names for it. Um, it's also called white knight syndrome. And what is this? This is when a person, in this case, it's the Aquarius, has a state of mind that they are destined to save others. It's an individual who believes that he or she is responsible for assisting and saving others. Google also says that it is a personality construct at first glance appears to be very motivated by the urge to help. In truth, a savior complex is unhealthy and can often give a person an outlet to focus on so that they don't address their own problems. So Aquarius, if your person or persons are freaking out and you're in one of these unhealthy relationships and it's this one particular, it's a, it's a, a, a savior complex, that means it's a relationship and a problem you have created. To be honest with you, all of these you have some kind of creation in. But this is the one that's particularly unhealthy because you're doing it so you don't have to address your own problems, your own life. So if you always have to go check on someone or go see about somebody or go do something, that means you don't have to deal with your own dysfunction. So my thing is to you guys who said this to me in the comment section, you need to look at these relationships and make a decision about how you want to engage with them moving forward, because it's going to be different depending on the relationship. For example, if you have a codependent relationship with your mom, Dealing with it is not going to be the same as dealing with a codependent relationship with your best friend. Or if you have a savior complex towards your sisters and brothers, it's not going to be the same dealing with that as it would be dealing with that with your coworkers. So my point is, is that all of these things are caused by dysfunctional situations, emotional wounds, mental health issues. So if you find yourself in a relationship like this, and then you try to dip off for a couple days to re-drink, to re-up your batteries, how is that person supposed to make it without you while you go off for a couple days? They're codependent. They're basically dependent on you. They're feeding off you like a battery. So going off for a couple days, honestly, is only a temporary fix. The problem is, and what you have to get to the bottom of, is why are you in these kind of relationships? Why are you in a relationship that is toxic, dysfunctional, doesn't have boundaries? <laughs> you know, and I've been in these and I've had to ask myself these same tough questions. So for many of you guys, that's the problem. It's not so much asking for the space itself, it's the people you're in relationship with. So ask yourself those questions because 
that's really a healthier question to ask. And if you can figure out not only why you're in these relationships, but how to make them different, how to make them healthier, how to make them better, then you'll get more out of the relationship and you won't be so drained. And when you ask for time, you won't get any of these crazy, <laughs> these, these crazy responses. I couldn't believe when she said they mess with my car. So somebody will sabotage your car so you can't go away for a few days? And you are okay with that relationship? I would escape this person. Are you serious? This person would never see me again. Reported my bank card stolen. So you tried to get away and they reported your bank card stolen so that you couldn't use your card and use it for, you know, whatever you needed while you were on the road. And you think it's okay to be in this relationship? This person would never see me again. And why do they have your banking information? My mother doesn't even have my banking information. My child doesn't have my banking information. They have to have your banking information to report your card stolen. Nobody should have that kind of information on you unless you have a joint bank account. In which case, if you have a joint bank account with somebody who does stuff like this, you need to not have a joint bank account. I wouldn't even be in a relationship with this person, much less have a bank account with them. I wouldn't even get a donut with them. <laughs> you know, I wouldn't share a cup of coffee with them. So some of you, some of us, because I've been here before too. I'm not in any of these now, but I've been in these. As a matter of fact, I told you guys I recently ended a relationship that has some of these hallmarks. And that's one of the things that I worked on afterwards was looking at, you know, these are not healthy relationships. So, guys, think about the relationships that you're in and if you should be in them or not. Okay? All right, guys, I got to get going. I'll see you guys tomorrow. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you know someone who has these kinds of issues, please pass this video on to them because this is something that definitely needs to be addressed. Likewise, if you want to send me a love donation, I'll leave my PayPal. If you want to send me a gift, I'll leave my Amazon wish list. If you would like to get a free answer to a general question, please email me or inbox me on social media. All that will be underneath there. Readings are not free, but general questions are free so if you have a general question i'll be happy to answer it for you all right all right guys it's time for me to get going see you later